Summer has got to be one of the most difficult seasons to style, in my opinion. Due to the heat, we're limited by the amount we can layer and also the types of clothes we wear to a certain extent. But there's still plenty of things we can do to look good in the summer if we think outside the box. So today I'm going to be going through everything I'm wearing this summer and also some things I've got my eye on which I might pick up. I am a lot less trend focused these days, but if there are any trends that I think are worth your time, I'll mention them in this video. For reference, I'm 5 foot 10, around 140 pounds, and I typically wear a 28 to 29 inch waist, and I'll leave links to everything I'm wearing down in the description box below. Let's start off with the obvious one, shorts. I think there's three types of shorts worth looking into this summer. You could go for all three or just pick your favourites. The first is a carryover from last summer and it's jean shorts or jorts. This is probably the best way to wear denim in the heat without getting too sweaty. Last summer the size of jorts got absolutely huge but I don't think that's necessarily needed. Just something that has a relaxed cut and hits somewhere around the knee is perfect in my opinion. I'm loving the look of these Levi's made in Japan 501s which are made in their 80s silhouette. Japanese denim is known for its quality, so they're sure to wear in nicely and last you a long time. Weekday are also great for quality denim at a reasonable price. The Galaxy denim looks pretty much perfect to me, just baggy enough without overdoing it. Unlike the Astros, although I do like the full length jeans, I think the shorts look a bit off, but they might work for you. If you want a really cheap option, I think buying or repurposing a pair of vintage jeans and cutting the legs off yourself is a legit option, like I'm wearing here. There's a number of sellers on eBay who sell these for a very reasonable price. I think these cost about 20 quid. The next kind of shorts I'll be wearing are pleated shorts. These come in a variety of lengths, but I really like the shorter ones that hit about the mid thigh. They also come in a variety of materials from cotton twill to linen to wool. I think that a lot of the time shorts just look too casual. So I think these with the pleat detail allow you to look a bit smarter in the heat and would be perfect for an evening meal or something. A lot of brands are putting these out this summer. Levi's have a women's version, which I'm tempted to try, as I know they'll be higher waisted, which I usually like. The Ralph Lauren Cormac shorts are always a classic choice as well, but they're kind of pricey. The ones that really caught my eye though are the Mr. P wide leg pleated shorts. This is Mr. Porter's own brand, and although it's still not cheap at 125 pounds, they make more affordable versions of really expensive pieces. So these are clearly inspired by the Bruno Cuccinelli shorts, which cost about £780. Whether you want the real thing or are happy with a cheaper alternative is up to you. The final type of shorts I'll be wearing this summer is some kind of running shorts. These are just going to be perfect day to day, lounging around the house, comfortable shorts for summer. I particularly like the ones which are on the short short side. I've been trying to get hold of some vintage French army shorts. That shiny blue colour and the short short fit looks perfect to me. But unfortunately I can't find any in my size and probably never will since these kinds of vintage pieces are so rare. However, a great alternative could be from Adidas. They do a lot of vintage style shorts so I may end up getting a pair of these. Nike also do a bunch of short shorts. Just search for 13 centimeter shorts on their website. I'll leave a link down in the description. The next thing that's going to be absolutely essential for my summer rotation are short sleeved shirts. Specifically ones that are relaxed across the chest and arms and a little bit cropped in length. Asher Jasper sent a few of their poplin initial shirts over from Australia and I've been loving them. I have the vintage white which is a sort of off white beige colour and then the washed black which has this beautiful fade to it. The white is in extra small while the black is in small but there isn't too much difference between them in sizing. As you can see though, they fit the bill in terms of being relaxed but shorter in length. I just wish they did a linen version of this, as that would be so ideal for the summer heat. Another thing that's carrying over from last summer are the crochet shirts, or anything crochet to be honest, including this jumper I'm wearing. They're absolutely ideal because they keep you covered up but allow your body to breathe at the same time. I'm particularly loving these ones from Portuguese Flannel. They're a little on the pricey side but everything is milled in Portugal with a focus on organic and recyclable materials. If you want a more affordable option then Abercrombie have you covered. This year they've come out with a lot of different crochet knit designs which look really good. I'm liking the patterned and coloured ones in particular. And speaking of patterns and colours, that's the other kind of shirt I'll be wearing this summer. Just something a little bit fun and goofy. Without a doubt the best place to find these is a charity shop or eBay. Just search for vintage Hawaiian shirt and there's an endless amount of these super abstract design shirts 
for cheap prices. And because they're cheap, I have no problem cutting them up at the arms and hems so they fit me in the way I like. These are my go-to shirts when I go on holiday. And this summer when I go on holiday, I'll be packing everything in the new carry-on from today's sponsor, Air. Air are a San Francisco-based brand that have been making premium travel bags and accessories since 2014. Their new carry-on has so many details and features that I absolutely love. It comes in a range of colours, but I went for the fog white, which is this beautiful sort of off-white with contrasting black handles and hardware. It has an architectural inspired design with this subtle steeped geometric detail that really pops in certain lighting. There's a chunky YKK double coiled zipper with a TSA approved lock and puncture resistant seam to prevent anyone getting in. The carry handle has attachment points for tags and each carry-on comes with a leather luggage tag with the air branding. Underneath the extendable trolley handle it has this locking feature which is something I've never seen before. It locks the wheels in place to prevent the suitcase from rolling off anywhere. I can see that being super useful in moving vehicles or if you're on an incline. That locking mechanism is only possible due to the types of wheels this suitcase has. These Hinamoto wheels were jointly developed with Mitsubishi to create silent and smooth operating wheels and they live up to the hype. If you've ever had a cheap suitcase, you'll know how awful those loud, bumpy, cheap wheels can be when you're dragging them to your hotel, so these are a dream. Inside is lined with this super durable recycled Kojura ripstop fabric in a stone grey colour. There's plenty of large and deep pockets for organisation, along with a hidden pocket for an air tag or tile. It has this removable compression pad as well, which keeps everything tightly packed in using the magnetic fidlock fastener. Overall, it's just a stunning suitcase with so many useful details. I'll leave a link directly to it in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself. The next thing I just can't live without every summer are vests or tank tops. For the past few years, I've been wearing and recommending the same ones, and this year is no different. I like to go for ones that have some texture because I believe it adds a bit of interest to an otherwise very basic piece. My go-to are either the Uniqlo dry vest top or the weekday tank top, both in size small. They're both slimmer fitting and feature this really subtle ribbed texture design. This just makes them more wearable on their own in my opinion, rather than the smooth vest tops which always remind me of pyjamas. I also love to wear them underneath some of those short sleeve shirts that I just talked about. This is about as far as you can go with layering clothes in the summer without overheating. But the vests are lightweight and wearing the shirts open will let you get a nice breeze to stay cool. Now t-shirts are definitely still viable in the summer, but you've got to choose the right ones. The tees that I consistently go back to time after time are the Uniqlo Aerism t-shirts. They do a nice variety of cuts now, so there's something for everyone. And I've tried them all, so I'll do my best to describe them. My favorite at the moment is the regular fit Aerism tee. I've had it for a few years now, and it's holding up really well. I went for a size small, so it's nice and fitted around the chest and arms. The length is a little bit longer than I'd like, so I usually tuck it in. I only have it in white, but they've just released a striped version with the contrasting collar. This really reminds me of my Mers B t-shirt, and if I didn't already own that, I'd probably be picking up this Uniqlo one. They also do two relaxed versions of the Aerism t-shirt in the Uniqlo U range, and I have both of them in size small. The first is just called the Relaxed Fit Crew Neck, although I have seen it being called the Oversized Crew Neck as well. It's a little bit more relaxed across the chest with baggier sleeves as you'd expect, and the fabric is a little bit thicker than the regular. And I really like this one, it's not too oversized. The other one is the Oversized Mock Neck version, and this one has a much more exaggerated oversized fit. The arms are baggier again and the fabric feels a bit thicker too. And of course it has that mock neck colour which I really like. I tend to wear this one more in colder weather due to its thickness. What I love about the Aerism range is that it's affordable, good quality, comes in a lot of colours and it regulates your temperature. When it comes to shoes, there are three types I'm going to be sticking to this summer. The first is just going to be an everyday casual style sneaker and I'll be rotating between two. One is the high top Converse Chucks, specifically the Chuck 70s because they're much nicer and comfier than the regular Chuck Taylors. And I love the off-white outer sole instead of the pure brilliant white. I love Chucks paired with shorts because sometimes with low top shoes, 
I feel like there's too much of a gap between my shorts and the shoes, but the high tops reduce that gap and just make you look more put together in my opinion. You could get the same effect with boots, but the chucks are nice because they're really lightweight. My other everyday sneaker is going to be the Adidas Samba. I know the hype has died down on these a lot, but I don't care. While I say the hype has died down, they're not as popular as a year or two ago, but I'm still seeing them around a lot to be honest. And there seem to be new collaborations all the time, which is keeping them in the spotlight. I really like the slim shape of them, which pairs well with a lot of my slimmer pants. And they can also look really good when worn with baggy pieces as well, so they're a win-win. If you don't like the branding on the Adidas Sambas, then go for the Margiela replicas. To be honest, once my Sambas are beaten up and unwearable, I'll probably end up getting the replicas. The second style of shoe I'll be wearing a lot this summer are loafers. I've had my Doc Martin Adrian loafers for a few years now and I enjoy them more and more as time goes on. I have the made in England version which has some nicer quality leather that's really molded to my feet now and I like to style these both casually and with smarter outfits. If you're not a fan of the yellow Doc Martin stitching then they do more subtle versions or you could go for the Solivaire version which I'm sure is a step up in quality again. The third style of shoe I'm gonna be wearing this summer are clogs or mules, whatever you wanna call them. Now I still have my Birkenstock Bostons and I'm really happy with them. They're quality, affordable, and easier to get hold of now that the hype has died down a bit. I don't think you can go wrong with them if you're looking for a casual slip on for the summer. But a lot of other brands have come out with their own versions of the mules, which are worth looking into, I think. The ones that have really caught my eye are the Clark's Trek mules. Probably won't be getting them simply because I don't need them. But if I didn't have my Birkenstock Bostons, then I'd probably be going for these in the caramel color. Just like Birkenstock, you can guarantee they're gonna be quality. However, the availability might not be there as it gets closer to summer. So now might be the time to pull the trigger if you're thinking of getting them. And finally, I mentioned it earlier, but because we can't layer as much due to the heat, we have to come up with creative ways to get that layered effect and add interest to our outfits. The easiest way to do this is to accessorize and in the summer, accessorizing comes down to three items. The first are necklaces, which are going to pair perfectly with an unbuttoned shirt and vest to fill that gap in the middle of your chest. I always have my gold chain on, which was given to me at birth, but I also like to pair that with a pearl necklace. I honestly get so many compliments when I wear this. You can get them anywhere these days. Serge Deneem do a decent looking one. I would just make sure that wherever you get it, Make sure it's genuine pearl. I've tried the fake pearls and they absolutely suck. The next accessory is of course going to be caps. I really like trucker caps and baseball caps in particular. I find that the new era 940 style fits my head really well, but this will vary from person to person. I've also been tempted to pick up some vintage trucker caps, but I do feel like I have too many caps at the moment, so I'm restraining myself a bit. Either way, caps are just essential for summer to stay protected and look good as well. The final accessory is another obvious one and it's sunglasses. Not only do they look good and can level up a basic outfit, but they protect your eyes as well. As amazing as the sun is, it can actually be quite damaging if you're overexposed. In terms of design, there's thousands to choose from and you can go pretty wacky. But honestly, I'm a sucker for the classic styles and classic brands. Ray-Ban Aviators are probably my favorite, closely followed by the Clubmaster. And of course the Wayfarer as well, although I tend to wear those a lot less these days. If you want something a bit different, then take a look at Cutler and Gross. They do a lot of unique designs, as well as contemporary takes on classic styles, so there should be something for everyone. So there's a bunch of stuff that I'll be wearing this summer. Thankfully, I already own a lot of this stuff, so I'm not really looking to purchase too much. Although if something really catches my eye and I think it adds value to my rotation, then maybe I'll get it. If I do, then I'll be sure to update you. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it useful. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.